So what we have here is WWE action figure, The Warlord. This is a 3D print, and this was one of the first 3D prints that I actually painted. Now, right now, we're applying the first coat of paint. And I have to admit, the skin color, the flesh color is a little yellow here. So before the end of it, I'm going to touch it up with a little more pink and a little more tan in it to give him a better suntan. Next, we're applying the color. One side, we're gonna do black and the other side red. But stick around, I am really proud of how this figure turned out. I'm still considering switching the red on his hair and making it a little less bright. So leave, my, leave me comments at the end of the video with your thoughts on that. And you'll probably remember the Warlord from his tag team, The Powers of Pain. And at the end of the video, we'll show you a barbarian as well. I was also able to replicate his jacket using an unmatched Fury figure that was a newer release. This is about eight inches tall, which matches in with the LJN line of figures, which is my favorite style of action figure. Those big rubber figures have an appeal and nostalgia for me. Go ahead and leave a comment if you owned any LJN figures and which one was your favorite. All right, folks, here's the end result. You can see I kind of had to touch up the paint a little bit so he wasn't quite so yellowy. I added in a jacket from another wrestling figure and had to cut it to fit him. We edited the legs a little bit to put a sticker on there as well. I liked how that looked. And we touched up his face paint a bit. And you can see he's in here with another custom figure, the Barbarian. So the only thing I wish is that the original 3D print was just a little bit bigger. The Warlord was like 6'6", 340 pounds, so I want him to tower over the other figures. But he's pretty cool looking. Go ahead and leave me a comment. How do you think we did with this rendition of the Warlord?